Hey guys! And we are back with Charlotte and Alyssa and Ethan. And Alyssa is getting her breakfast before work because she really needs to work hard <laughs> at work. Even when she's in a good in a good relationship with her boss. Who is her boss? How do you find this out? Who is boss, boss, boss. Her boss is Leroy Jenkins. No idea who that is. Okay, so Charlotte is also eating some cereal for breakfast. And she has to work in... Her carpool comes in about an hour. And Ethan is not happy. So maybe Charlotte will have enough time to change his dirty diaper and feed him on the floor before she has to go to work, but I don't really know. <coughs> Alyssa, please <coughs> just go to work. Don't worry about doing the dishes. You're going to be late the way you're going. And you already got fired from this job once, so you really need to work at it. Go! What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what she's doing. She's thinking about something. I don't really know. Okay. I think she's going now. Where are you going? Doors this way. Come this. Now you're late. Look what you did. Go get in your car. Okay. No. We need you to kind of take care of him before you go to work. So that I know he's in good hands. So let's hurry up. Take care of him. Um, can you please hurry? Because it's like 8.30 and you need to be to work in about an hour. OMG. Ignore that call. No one cares about it. Okay, and then go to work, please. Hurry up, you have ten minutes. Oh my gosh. Now she's missing work. These guys are just horrible people. What does she need? She needs support still and... Um... She's gonna have to call a babysitter for Ethan. But... He should be happy now for a while, after he drinks his bottle. Yes, I would like to call a babysitter. I don't know why this doesn't automatically do it. Like, if you're going to work, obviously you're going to work, you've got to make money. I don't understand that. Okay, but Ethan is going to do this. Making coffee the executive way. Your boss thinks it it'd be most beneficial if you read Caffeine Culture, a detailed book on the intricacies of bringing coffee to the band boardroom. It's a surefire career improve improver <laughs> okay your boss likes you more and your job performance increases a win-win. So she has to read a book and it increases. Who is the babysitter? I don't even know. Sounds like a man. I don't even see it. Alright, here they are. Who is this? Chase? Jesse Albert? I don't even know how to say that name. Turn that off. We don't need music on. Thanks for the choice, though. Alright, so she needs to step up to her boss. One of the big 
shot down at City Hall has raised concern about a possible nectar contamination. He wants a study done to make sure it meets safety standards. Bring a few bottles of great or better quality nectar to the police department so they can do some research. Well, I don't have four bottles of nectar, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, I was choosing suck up to boss. Because she has to have a good relationship with her boss for her job, so. When she gets home, she needs to shower. And... We're going to get Charlotte to sleep in a jail cell because she's getting pretty tired. I love how the babysitters just watch TV instead of, like, playing with the child. Okay. Let's see. What time does Alyssa get off? Two, and Charlotte gets off at three. So Alyssa will be home first, and she's coming straight home to take a shower, and then she needs to pay the bills, which are $649. So this small house, whoop. Then she needs to read this newspaper to see if anyone died. That's really why I read it. She needs to pick up this trash can and then clean this up. And when Charlotte gets home, she should tend to her little tiny, very tiny garden. Turn that on, turn it off. Tend to your garden. Yeah. Okay, so that was everything I think that I had planned for. Oh no, she has to come home and feed her pet out back. And Alyssa has made $145 today. Wow, that is not very much. She needs to clean the bird cage and fill the bird's food, clean the chameleon's cage and fill his food. And I am going to quickly go into Simport, and I have a friend named Dana KK, and she sent me a sim to host. Host? Yeah. Yes, that would like to save. Um, and... Um, I'm going to come back when it actually, like, loads after doing all of this. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so, the tour has been set, and the babysitter's leaving. And... It never, it never told me when the performer was coming. I don't know, maybe I have to wait a second. Okay, here we go. Nope. That's not it either. Um, okay, it says your friend Sim is making their next tour stop near town. The show will start around Friday at 4 p.m. At 4, hold on a 4 p.m. at Performance Park, but you know those flaky artist types, they're always running late. And Charlotte has left work now with $721. And let's get him to play with his tanky. And... Okay. So Charlotte's home now. Because uh, she just works across the street. So she just, like, runs home. And she is gardening her two plants. Which kind of is silly, but it's all we have right now. And Alyssa is going to pay the bill because maybe she, why is someone honking? Okay, she lives across the street. She doesn't need you to drive her. Thanks anyways, though. Okay, so she's done, supposedly. It says her mood is too low. Oh, because she's really hungry. And didn't I have someone? Oh, no. 
Let, after she's done taking care of the animals, let's get her to serve some uh, grilled cheese, I guess. And we have a big mess happening in here. We need... Okay. Kind of need someone to take care of Ethan, but he's probably not going to get it in time. So, repair the shower. No, not clean house. Mop a puddle. And Charlotte is out here cleaning the birdcage. And when she's reading, it says, it's a girl. It's Sandy, the healthy baby girl, is the newest and youngest member of the Millman clan. The entire family is now resting and looking forward to the months ahead. And Butter brings home the Cooper horse, horse child. And she's now taking care of the chameleon. And Alyssa is going to clean up this huge mess outside. Because this is just disgusting. And I don't know why it's like that. But it's gross, and I don't want it to be like that anymore. Um, Ethan's birthday is mm -hmm. in... Hold on a second. I thought she <laughs> it sounded not like she was picking up a trash can. Um, let's see. Ethan's birthday is in two days, so he'll be a child. So we're going to go upstairs right now and I can't decide where I want to put him. I think I'm going to put him in here and I'm just going to delete some of this stuff because there's two um like of those and let's delete that. What is this? Oh it's a plane. Okay, so let's go get him, let's go get him a bed, and we're going to try and find one that kind of matches the crib in here. We're just going to keep the crib in here, just in case, because then we can always just move, like, um, you know, like, move this crib or whatever in there. Um, let's see, what's this one? So we're looking for, I don't really want to like go into customization and all that right now. Just wanted to buy him a bed. And it's not working out as well as I had hoped. Um, let's see. Okay, come on. Okay. The boat bed, and that is going to be his bed as a child, and we're going to add in a end table so we can get rid of one of these, these overhead lights, and put in a different, different light, so let's give him... Um, let's see, let's just give him this for right now, and we'll just put a lamp on it, and we'll give him, let's give him this light. I was looking for a darker blue one, but I don't see one. So let's just give him, like, this. Because you can't go wrong with this light. Alright. And put the... No, not that. Put the... Music box on the table as well. Okay. So that's going to be his little tiny, 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 tiny room <laughs> for when he's a child. He doesn't really need much anyways. Because children don't really need much in my eyes. But... So, yeah, and Charlotte is making her mm, grilled cheese, I believe, and 
Alyssa is going to repair the uh, shower and then mop up the puddle and then she needs to change his dirty diaper and feed him in the high chair. And you know what? That's what I should have done. I should have bought another... Okay, I know I keep going in here, but... I should have bought another uh, high chair. So when he's downstairs, they don't have to go all the way upstairs to feed him. So let's see. Let's just get him this one. And we can put it over here. No, like this. Thank you. Come on. Why is this not working? Get out of my way, radio. Okay, we're going to put it there, and we're going to put the radio next to it. Okay. So then she can just feed him right in that high chair and not have to go all the way upstairs to feed him. Because I think that's just silly. And he's actually in a pretty good mood, even knowing, like, his hygiene is really far down. But that's okay. We'll get it fixed. And, yeah, she's making grilled cheese. Oh my gosh, every way I try to turn this thing, it like freaks out. Alright, see, she's making grilled cheese. I do not spin my grilled cheese like that when I make it. Because I would probably get it like stuck to the ceiling or it would like fall to the floor or something. It would not end well. Um, these are from his birthday when he became a toddler. And she still needs to tend the garden because she has not completed that yet. So after she's done cooking, she needs to go and do that. And she wants to clean the dishes. So we can allow her to do that. We will click clean up and we'll pull it over to do the whole entire lot. And Alyssa is still doing, fixing the shower, but she's just about completed. And, you know, we could have just hired like a repairman, but whatever. Um, they really need to like finish teaching Ethan everything. Like what else does he need to know? He needs to learn to talk and to walk and to potty. Oh boy. And she gets a memory for repairing the shower. Um, okay, she is eating her grilled cheese now. And Alyssa is hungry actually, but she needs to take care of Ethan first. And let's put away the grilled cheese so they don't go bad this time. Thank you. Okay. So, oh, she actually might clean that up first. I, she might not need this. Now she's got two of the same thing. Like, that's just stupid. Okay, you couldn't just clean that up with that? That just seems ridiculous. Okay, Alyssa, you're supposed to, no, 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 you're supposed to be taking care of Ethan first. You're not going to die of hunger, you still have, you're in the red, in the orange, you're not going to die yet. Excuse me, take care of your son. And then you may eat your grilled cheese sandwich. Charlotte is taking care of her garden. She has a apple tree and a grapevine. Nothing too spectacular. But she wants to improve her cooking. And she wants to clean the cowpoke stove. I'm guessing that's the stove that they have. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, she wants to clean that. So we'll allow her to do that too. And, okay, so, he is not dirty pants anymore, dirty bottomed, whatever you want to call it. Oh, she is actually going to take him all upstairs when I just bought this high chair right here. That's just silliness. 
Okay, so it looks like she's actually completed tending her garden. Because it's only two plants, so it doesn't take very long. But we're going to take what she has in her inventory, and we're going to plant some more. And we have more grapes that we can plant as well. Okay, so she can plant those and put away the book in her inventory because she doesn't need it in her inventory. And then after all that, she can go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, go to sleep. And after Alyssa has finished eating her grilled cheese, she needs to put Ethan in his crib and then go to sleep herself. Mm -hmm. Good grilled cheese. Alright, so she is going to plant apple trees and more grape vines. And now she wants to repair the broken easy machine from Fred's PC Hut. Sure. No, we don't have room for a dryer, sorry. And Alyssa already has potty trains, so that just kind of seems funny to do it for both of you. Bathe. Clean the dishes. Okay, now you guys are just getting silly ones. Um. So, fast forward. She has reached level 3 in gardening, and she can now fertilize her garden plants with vegetables, fish, and other odds and ends. Expensive fertilizers like rare fish and vegetables tend to help your plants more. Rare and special plants need the best fertilizers to really thrive. And... Alright, slow it down. Ignore this call, like we always do. Fixing the celestial slump. The science facility has hit a bit of a slump and they haven't discovered any celestial bodies in quite some time. They need to discover something soon if they want to keep their grants, so they've asked local geniuses to do some backyard astronomy. Search the galaxy using your own telescope at home and you'll be well paid for your effort. Um, sure. We do have a telescope. We got it free because um, she is a three-star celebrity and yeah, you get stuff free when you're a celebrity. Ethan is now sleeping and as, as is Alyssa and Charlotte will be sleeping mm -hmm. shortly-ish. Mm -hmm. Only got two more to plant. Two more to plant. Okay. Now, she is actually going to put away the book that she has called Murder and Pleasant View. I think it's about Bella, to be honest. Oh no, what's that lady's name that got shoved off the building roof? Is that Bella? I can't remember. I don't think it's Bella though. Maybe it is. I don't think so. Okay, so she is off to sleep. Here she comes. Okay. So this is where I'm going to end this video because they're all sleeping now and it's going to be a while. So I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Favorite it. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!